the initial idea comes out of um, an experience of seeing the, the refugee crisis in Europe, right? Um, and the boats uh, capsizing and, and uh, the, the immigrants coming out of Syria into Greece. And it reminded me so much of the Barceros and it reminded me so much of El Mariel. And it took me back, right? And I wasn't, and, and I, I was for the first time where I'm looking at media and, and sort of, and having a very visceral reaction to it, right? And I'm, I'm like seeing the connections and how this image seems to keep repeating itself and in and, and all these lives that are being lost uh, at sea. Um, and for me, it, it also sort of reminds me of that initial sort of transatlantic trade um, and the bodies that were also lost at sea at that time and the history how it continues to repeat itself in, in many ways. And uh, that was the, the, the catalyst for, for the work, right? Um, and having that very personal connection that even if I didn't come on, on a raft from Cuba, if, if you're Cuban, you know somebody who did. It's a relative, it's a neighbor, it's a friend, it's the person you do business with. Somebody knows somebody who has shared this experience. And so I felt that it was really important for me to, to focus on this at this point in time. And so the first opportunity that I have is in 2018, uh, the ULAI grants begin for the very first time. And so I've been marinating the, uh, this idea. And so I proposed the, the possibility of working on a video that looks at the history of Cuban migration in Miami and also partially the Haitian migration and to generate a new vernacular, new imagery that can perhaps talk about this experience without projecting into it the vision of, of the other, right? Um, and so that happened in 2018, in, in October of 2018 that I submit the proposal um, actually, no, it's in like May, May, early April that we submit the proposal and I actually received the award. And so I know in October of 18 of, of 2018 that I have the grant. And so that was the initial funding that I needed to begin this whole journey uh, that ends at Locust Project. And so they sponsored the video, uh, which you have the, the footage of. Um, and so after I, I have that initial funding to generate the imagery, um, one of the things that they stipulate is for it to be exhibited in Miami. And so um, I wanted to have a space that could be really significant space to be able to do it. I, I knew for sure it wasn't gonna be a commercial entity. I knew for sure that it wasn't gonna be something that I wanted to do like a film or a, or a video uh, projection that I wanted it to house it within a larger installation. And Locust Project luckily has this open call that they do every year to invite artists to submit proposals. And so having received the funding for the, from the ULAI for the Elliott Award grant, I submit the proposal of what I'm trying to do to Locust Project. And, and so that takes another year uh, in which I start to slowly begin to develop the, the, the visuals for the video uh, while I'm waiting to hear from Locust Project. And I think in 2019, I finally do hear from Locust Projects and they have accepted the, the, the proposal for the installation. Um, and, and then I, I, it's a full goal at that point in time because now I have a space where I'm gonna actually be able to exhibit that proposal. And for them, I have to become um, I have to articulate even the vision further than just the video. It's really then about the installation of the project and how it's going to install and the materials and all of the other things that you saw unfold in, in the exhibition. Um, and so by 2019, now I start to specifically focus on working to develop and to research the resources of everything that I will need for the exhibition. And I start uh, reaching out and looking into the different archives and finding the materials that I think I'm interested in the archive to then, you know, later on um, actually be, make the selection of what I want. And also to think about how it all comes together. Um, and finally, I think it's the beginning of this year in January that I, that I really start to give shape to the exhibition that you saw. Um, uh, um, 
at, at Locust Project. The other thing that I want to mention, because I think it was also really helpful and influential, was I was invited to do the Hermitage Artist Retreat, which is in uh, Sanford, Florida. And it's a retreat that actually brings writers, uh, filmmakers, musicians, um, poets, um, all of them, uh, playwrights also together to, for you can select to either, it's a series of six weeks, you can either select to do it or once or by a little bit by little bit. And it is while I'm at the, uh, at the Hermitage that I realize this connection because it's really the residency is right by the water. Your studio is like, you know, you know, 10, 20 feet away from the, from the beach. And I'm hearing the sounds of all these children and family have spending their day at the beach and the memories of that, that made me really sort of figure out how I'm going to sort of hold all of this together. It was the anchoring for the video you know, for the beginning and the ending of the video, starting and ending uh, on the water, on the beach and the shore and the memory of this moment at the beach as something really fun, especially as a child. Um, and also the fact that for someone who's about to migrate, this become a place of trauma uh, and, and, and of, of a very sort of kind of sad experience as well.